welcome to Med Madness. Today we're exploring a crucial tool in the fight against diseases like cancer, immunotherapy, antibody fragments. But first, let's test your knowledge with a USMLE Step 1 style question. A 48-year-old woman with a history of breast cancer is enrolled in a clinical trial for a novel targeted therapy. Her treatment involves the use of an engineered antibody designed to minimize systemic toxicity and enhance tumor specificity. Which type of antibody fragment is most likely being used in her treatment, and why are these fragments particularly useful in such therapies? Think about the properties of different antibody fragments. We'll reveal the answer shortly. Before we dive into the answer, let's understand more about antibody fragments used in immunotherapy. Traditional antibodies, like IgG, have been a staple in therapeutic applications, but their large size and complexity can limit their effectiveness and increase side effects. This is where antibody fragments come into play. IgG antibodies are made up of two heavy and two light chains, forming a Y-shaped structure. Now, researchers can engineer smaller, more specific fragments of these antibodies. The FAB fragment, containing a variable and constant region from both chains, retains the ability to bind antigens but is smaller and less likely to trigger unwanted immune responses. Single-chain variable fragments link the variable regions of heavy and light chains with a short peptide, offering even greater tissue penetration. Lastly, the VHH or VH domains derived from camelid antibodies are tiny yet highly stable, ideal for penetrating dense tissues like tumours. So, returning to our question, the treatment likely uses SCFV or VHH fragments due to their small size and high specificity, minimizing side effects while targeting only cancer cells. Correct answer, single chain variable fragments or VHH. These fragments are excellent for targeted therapy as they combine minimal size with maximal specificity. Now, here's another question for you. How might the use of such antibody fragments be optimized to reduce immune system rejection? Share your thoughts and explanations in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. Please like, share, subscribe and visit medmadness.co to buy the full immunology course.